its antiphon? Turn your ear, O Lord, and answer me. Save the servant who trusts in you, my God. Have mercy on me, O Lord, for I cry to you all the day long. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and lead us to life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who calls the mind of the faithful to unite in a single purpose, grant your people to love what you command and to desire what you promise. And amid the uncertainties of this world, our heart may be fixed on that place where true gladness is found. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and rests with you in the name of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. from the first letter of St. Paul to the Thessalonians. You recall, brothers and sisters, our toil and drudgery, working night and day in order not to burden any of you. We proclaim to you the gospel of God. You are witnesses, and so is God, how devoutly and justly and blamelessly we behave towards you, believers. As you know, we treated each one of you as a father treats his children, exhorting and encouraging you, and insisting that you walk in a manner worthy of the God who calls you into his kingdom and glory. And for this reason, we too give thanks to God unceasingly that in receiving the word of God from hearing us, you receive it not as the word of men, but as it truly is, the word of God, which is now at work in you who believe. The word of the Lord. You have searched me and know me, Lord. You have searched me and know me, Lord. Where can I go from your spirit? From your presence, where can I flee? If I go up to the heavens, you are there. If I sink to the netherworld, you are present there. You have searched me and you know me, Lord. If I take the wings of dawn, if I settle at the farthest limits of the sea, even there your hand shall guide me, and your right hand hold me fast. You have searched me, and you know me, Lord. If I say, surely the darkness shall hide me, and night shall be my light, for you, darkness itself is not dark, and night shines as the day. You, you have searched me, and you know me, Lord. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. Whoever 
keeps the word of Christ, the love of God is truly perfected to him. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Glory to Jesus said, What you scribes and Pharisees, you hypocrites, you are like washed tombs, which appears beautiful on the outside, but inside are full of dead men's bones and every kind of filth. Even so, on the outside you appear righteous, but inside you are filled with hypocrisy and evil doing. Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, you hypocrites! You build the tombs of the prophets and adorn the memorial of the righteous. And you say, If we had lived in the days of our ancestors, we would not have joined them in shedding the prophet's blood. Pause you bear witness against yourself that you are the children of those who murder the prophets. Now fill up what your ancestors measured out. A Gospel of the Lord. Praise you, Lord Jesus. In the morning Early in the morning, in the morning, I will rise and praise the Lord. In the morning, early in the morning, in the morning, I will rise and praise the Lord. The Lord is good, and all the times. We have an encounter once more between Jesus and the Pharisees. This is not the first, this is not the second, and this will not be the last time that he will refer to them as hypocrites. In this context, the Lord and the Lord, we are made to understand that when we become so absolved of our moral and righteous deeds, when we begin to have the feeling that, you know, the things we do, are the things that can grant us salvation, we forget the gift of our redemption. We have to conquer our own sins. It is a weakness, one, that has to be conquered, but most importantly and secondly, we have to be saved from it. And I need to remind myself perpetually so that I will not put the whole interest the time and the attention on myself that I can only be saved from my own sin by the grace of God and the gift of the Holy Spirit. Anytime we forget that, we have the tendency to backslide. We make a mistake, we become so angry about it, we discover that after a moment, again, or after a while, we make the same mistake. But when we invite the grace of God and the gift of the Holy Spirit to grant us total salvation from that sin, He is the one alone that can break the bound. He is the one that can break the chain of perpetual sin that we journey in in our lives. So let us not behave like the scribe and the Pharisees. We be hypocrites when we begin to feel that we can save ourselves by our own selves, but rather we should always remember that the grace of God alone can save us from our own sins. At the very moment we have failed to walk in the right direction, we ask him to grant us his mercy, but above all, may he grant us a grace to journey with him in faith and attain our purpose our salvation as we journey with him in faith through Christ our Lord. Amen. We 
humble hearts, we bring our prayers and petitions to the Father. That the church throughout the world may be blessed with a spirit of humility before the Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord that world leaders may be granted wisdom and courage by the Holy Spirit as they formulate laws and policies. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord that anyone suffering because of poor health or chronic pain may feel the healing touch of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord that all of us here may have the gifts of the Spirit, so as to announce the gospel in word and deed. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord God, that all who have died may be called by God into his kingdom and glory. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord God, for the intentions we keep in the silence of our hearts and those expressed in our parish book of intentions, and in a special way for Abdullah, Sawanu, and family, the intention of this Mass. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Through the intercession of our beloved Mother, full of grace, we say, Have Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Bless God. Blessed be you, Lord, God of all creation, for free and witness we have this bread we are for you, put on the anchor words of human hands, which will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God. Blessed be you, Lord God of all creation, for the goodness we have this wine we offer you. Fruit of the final works of human hands, which will become for us a spiritual drink. Blessed be Pray, beloved, in the Lord, that my sacrifice in yes may be acceptable to God the Father Almighty. May the Lord accept the sacrifice in your hands. To the praise of the Lord, the King, for our good and good of all his children. O Lord, who gave for yourself the people by adoption, through the one sacrifice of at once and for all, graciously bestow on us, we pray, the gift of unity and peace in your church, through Christ. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for just as true and beloved Son you created the human race, so also through him you God great goodness he found it in you. And so it is right that all your creatures, Savior, and all the living places 
and all your saints with one heart bless you. Therefore, we to exalt all the angels as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God host, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in our hearts. Blessed is he who comes to the name of the Lord. Hosanna. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. May the holy day of God is his, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them, and we pray, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered to the lead to his passion, he took bread and gave it thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more gave it thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you from any false forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory.
grant us labor and for peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us support each other. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world, blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. The communion antiphon. The earth is replete with the fruits of your work, O Lord. You bring forth bread from the earth and wine to cheer the heart. And for those joining us from home, an act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and I unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Thank you. 
Complete within us, O Lord, we pray, the healing work of your mercy, and graciously perfect and sustain us, so that in all things we may please you, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.